Yeah, without the ego, it's, there is only the quantum field. And, and it's just pure connectivity, pure oneness. To the ego, that sounds very boring. Like, that's the meaning of life, the quantum field. You know, just a field of energy that's just totally connecting and extending and radiating, you know. But see, it's just like in the movie where, you know, he gets so accustomed to the aquarium, you know, that he, he, he doesn't see a way out. That's the same way when, when you're accustomed to the, the biology and the planets and the spheres and gravity and all these things, then yeah, as you go, begin to go through awakening, it's like the ego is, is grieving its world. It's grieving the loss of what it considers life. You know, it made its own life. It, it took, got away from the connectivity of the energy and the oneness and just, you know, it was using the tools of separation and the mechanisms of separation and the parts that are uh, the reflections of separation to manufacture um, a false reality. And then it just, it's almost like the hoax includes separate bits of consciousness and awareness that have shared agreements. Oh, the sky is blue, the grass is green, ooh, sneaky sneaky. It even makes it seem more real when there's all these bits and pieces that seem to kind of holographically have some shared agreements. Do you think this? Yeah, I think that too. Ah, separation is re reinforced. So it's, it's very ingenious and it's very sneaky, but, but yeah, there are, without the ego, there's no, there are no parts. No evolution, no nature, no animals, no. no. <laughs> Just not a... <laughs> <laughs> the thing about it is, you know, that seems to be the faith of the spiritual journey. I'm happy, I... I've, I've kind of gone through the keyhole, but as you're going through the tunnel, you're wondering, is there a light at the end of the tunnel? You can't always even see the light at the end. And, and that's where these phrases come up, like blind faith, you know. It seems in, in some sense like, ah, oh, it sounds like blind faith or pie in the sky, or even where is the evidence? And, you know, you do find what you're looking for. But with the ego, you, you draw forth a lot of evidence of separation. You know, all of history, Jesus says, history would not exist if you didn't keep making the same mistake in the present. It's like Groundhog Day, you know, it's just waking up every day, stepping in the puddle, going through the same things over and over, reliving the same day, which is really the same unholy instant just over and over and over, and that's what linear time is, it's just rep repetition, just living the same old mistake over and over and over. And all he says in the Course is, you've never stopped to pause for a moment to question what's, what's, all, what's beneath all this. Like to even ponder, you have no idea where you even began winding yourself into darkness. You've been winding yourself into darkness so to speak, so long that you've never stopped to question, eh, what's the point of this? But certainly that's what we do when we get into the Course, you know, we start to take it back, trace it back. Like Carol King said, tracing a line till we can define the thing that allows us to feel, only love is a real. You see, you gotta, even in that song, Classic Carol King, tracing a line, it still has the digging, it still has the exposing, it still has the tracing it back. But, you know, when we start tracing back together, so to speak, you can feel the synergy of that. You can feel here, that's what this whole retreat has been about, the exposing, the tracing back, you know, and that's our life here at the monastery, you know, that's what we focus our, our attention, that's what we give our care to. Not to trying to achieve or accumulate or be productive. We're not interested in being productive. 
we are completely without ambition. <laughs> when will it end? It never began. <laughs> you can feel the relaxation of that. All the worry and struggle and care and concern to try to make it somewhere. Where? We are awakening. Cause for rejoicing. We are awakening.